What's up everybody? We have a very special unboxing today. A bittersweet one. Uh, I want to keep the vibes good. Uh, keep them very good. But uh, it, it is... Uh, I am going to talk about uh, uh, Virgil Abloh and his, his body of work that he's brought uh, to the fashion industry, the streetwear industry, uh, the sneaker industry. And so there, there's, there'll also be a little melancholy vibes, but I'm going to try to keep it positive because he, he was a positive force and light uh, in the, in, in the art world. I'm going to say the art world. Um, so everyone's here mainly to see these, uh, appreciate you watching those of you who are, uh, fans of my channel. Thank you. And I have a thank you for you later in the video. And those of you who are off true off white, true Virgil fans, uh, stick around to the end. That's a little tease. Here's a little tease because you can't take my word for it. Little tease. There'll be a bonus unboxing at the end. Plus, Plus, if you're still watching, plus um, a little tip on um, something. So that's that's for the true fans of my content and Virgil and Off White. Watch the end. A little little bonus for the for the true ones out there. All right. So I got these. You already know what they are. Got these. Did not hit, unfortunately. It would have been really special to hit for retail on a pair. On one of the last pairs that. Um, off-white and Nike are going to bring out that Virgil design. They could continue work. Off-white's still a brand, still out there. They're still going to do work, uh, design stuff uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, I'm sure they still have a relationship with Nike. There could be more off-white Nike collabs, but as far as the ones that uh, Virgil had a 100% hand in, uh, this is probably the second to last pair that we will see. Uh, they have shown up. I don't know if it's been official, but it, I think it's official. Nike's released officially. Definitely the images are out there of the uh, Nike Air Force One high or mid top. Uh, Nike Air Force One mid with the the rubber spikes at the at the, the front of the shoe um, in black. And there might be another colorway. That seems to be his last uh, Nike collab that hasn't hit uh, the market yet. These seem to be the second to last pair. So I wish I would have hit for retail, but I didn't. So on StockX, I saw that these were going for, you know, a reasonable, air quotes reasonable, price and got me excited. I was worried that, you know, just these being second to last pair, these might start to go up. So I seeing that they were relatively uh, low price, people were trying to flip them, whatever. Uh, people didn't love them. I put in a bid. And uh, half a day later, it was accepted. <laughs> Put in a bit at 250. Uh, taxes, all that stuff came out to I think 300 or around 300, a little over. Uh, definitely bought too early. These have dropped. I don't know what it. I I pulled the trigger because I saw these in a, the Union raffle line, the Union line for the Jordan Twos in LA. Saw someone where the have these on foot. I'm like, those look. I was gonna get them anyway, or try to get them, but. I saw them in person. I was like, oh, those are those are even better than I thought. And I thought other people would start thinking that and they would start going, you know, uh, these pairs would start flying. Uh, apparently I was wrong. People, I guess, don't like these as much. And uh, the price on these, very uh, reasonable. A little over 200 in my size. The black ones, under 200. Now, again, when you add, if you're buying from one of the platforms, when you add in fees, shipping taxes, it's going to, you know, bump add on 30 percent whatever it's going to go up uh but maybe you can get these at a store or from someone for those prices uh that at 220 230 210 the black ones under 200 maybe i, I think that's i think that's a pretty good deal for virgil's uh you know he actually designed these his second to last pair um i think that's a pretty good deal and we'll see how good these are once we open them all right stock x info so uh, we'll look at the box as you see. Sorry, uh, I always do this. Blazer Low 77 uh, with off-white collab. I got the white university red colorway, size 12. Blazers run a little like narrow, thin, so I go a half size up typically. Uh, these retail, I think for like 140, you have um, off-white branding on the side of the box. A little crushed there, unfortunately. I don't freak out over that unless it's terrible though. Um, and then you have the signature holes in the box. This is an ode. Um, some of this, that, that structural seen through, um, 
correct me in the YouTube comments if I'm wrong, but a lot of that you saw in the um, Jordan 5, the sail and the gray pair, the same cutouts, a lot of that I think is inspired by Mies van der Rohe, uh, German architect, uh, modern, really brought modern architecture to the forefront uh, in, in the early 1900s through the, he passed away I think in 1969. Anyways, he was a big influence on Virgil. Um, I got this at a, this book at a secondhand uh, used bookstore, I think in November. And uh, based off, you know, I know Virgil was a big fan. I didn't know much about him. I came to know of him through Virgil, and um, that's and then, and then unfortunately Virgil passed away uh, end of November. That's part of the influence, I think. I'll, I'll get into more of that, but I think that. That right there is part of what makes uh, Virgil Abloh uh, more than just a designer, right? There, there's lots of fashion designers out there, clothes designers, sneakers designers, but he he looked at things a through a different lens. He uh, talked he 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 talked about being both you know a purist and a tourist, and he had the knowledge, the architecture, and the art background, but ex but at the same time wasn't a gatekeeper. He had that as his foundation, but also, you know, knew of streetwear, pop culture, and knew of those things and, and blended the two together in something like this box. I think that's that's what's special is he, he wasn't just overlooking um, the foundation, but at the same time wasn't just looking at uh, modern things. I mean, I'll, I'll get into it more, but like how, how crazy it is it that a guy is the the signature fashion collaborator with the biggest sportswear brand in the world, Nike, and at the same time the uh, creative menswear director at the biggest high fashion uh, house in the world, Louis Vuitton. I mean, that's nuts. That's nuts. And that's, uh, you know, signature him uh, coming from both worlds, uh, high fashion, art, and at the same time, uh, streetwear and streetwear culture. So... Enough with that for now. I, I know you guys want to see the, the shoes. So here's, you got the wrapping paper, the off-white, off-white 2021 wrapping paper. These came out this year, but I think these were supposed to come out last year, probably towards the end of last year, um, delayed because of his passing. Oh, man. Um, yeah, you could probably say I'm biased, but like, but seriously, how, how this is such a sick shoe. I don't, I don't know how people are passing it. Maybe the holes, I can see where some, some of it, you know, uh, some people don't like it, but you know, that's the thing is push, Virgil pushed boundaries and you might not let, love some of his designs, which is okay. They're not for everyone. They, you know, it's subjective. Art is subjective. Fashion subjective. Music is subjective. Style is subjective. So that that's fine. But he was, I don't, you know, he wasn't designing shoes for Foot Locker, like the average dude at Foot Locker who likes Jordan 3, you know, general releases. No, no, no shade to anyone who likes Jordan 3 general releases and gets them at Foot Locker. That's not what I, not the intention. I'm just saying if uh, that's, that's your, your thing, which is totally cool. Uh, this shoe and some of Virgil's designs, you know, the, the Air Force One that's coming out the mid just might not be for you. Uh, the track shoes that are real wild that he made. Um, just might not be for you, you know? He wasn't put on this earth just to design some dope Jordan 1s and, like, have everyone like those. So, people who throw shade at, um, shoe designers, even ones that are, like, not great, like, I'll, I'll, I, you forget a lot of work goes into this stuff. And, um, even if a lot of work doesn't go into it, this was someone's taste and, you know, I, I, I implore you to design something, put it out there for everyone, and uh, see how it goes. But, okay, to these shoes. To these shoes. Enough ranting. Let's look at some of the details here. So you got a blazer low, and this is, this is, uh, this is a combination, I think, what, damn it, I usually do my homework, uh, especially with a Virgil shoe, but an Indestruct? What, uh, damn it, I usually do my homework. But this is a this is a combination of two shoes here, blazer low for shoe for sure, and then the heel, this outsole is uh, inspired from another Nike trainer. 
Uh, but here, you, what's interesting, I didn't notice in the pictures as much. Uh, eventually, I did notice, but here you got a little canvas strip around the edge. You have a very thick uh, midsole. Seems like all one piece, like blazers typically are. And then you have leather, white leather here on the upper. A smaller swoosh than typical to fit within, I think, these holes. And then you have the overlacing in yellow here. Signature shoelaces in quotes. Uh, you know, everything in quotes was his, his mantra, his fashion mantra. You have the zip tie. It's a felt zip tie. He's done these on a couple. A little lighter weight, uh, which is interesting. He's done these on a, a couple of his shoes. And uh, and then on the on the in, inside, uh, you have the, the typical off-white for Nike, Beaverton, Oregon text. You have Nike off uh, tongue tag. Exposed foam, off-white, uh, branding on the insole, and I, I really like these. I've seen some people cut this off, and I actually don't like it. I don't like the way it looks um, off. Maybe it's not, maybe not in general. Like, I like a blazer low, that's fine, but it's just the exposed texture when you cut this heel off, I don't like that. Uh, that's just me. It looks uh, too raw. I don't, I don't mind this thing. I, I don't mind this thing at all. Uh, I am a little disappointed. I got I paid extra for these. I paid in the end probably what thirty thirty dollars extra, but uh, ultimately I I love the shoe. I'm a big Virgil Abloh fan, so thirty dollars fine for me. I was trying to make sure I wasn't paying an extra even more if these shot up. I don't I don't see why these are so less popular. I do think if you're interested, cop them now. I do think these will creep up. Dead stock pairs will start to go away. People start to wear these. Um, you know, I, one thing I didn't want to mention is I really hope in this day and age of this day and age of quick news, you know, some people already forget about the Ukraine conflict, for example, in quick news turnover, people might start to forget about Virgil and his work. He was only, you know, was hot for, you know, a handful of years. It's very unfortunate. We get to, didn't get to see a full lifetime body of work. He did a lot in those years. He, uh, you know, he was, he was here with us, but I do worry that, you know, he'll be forgotten in some sense. Uh, if at all, he's not crossing fingers that, it, you know, he's not, and he stays relevant for a long time and his work is remembered. If that's the case, these will go up. So, um, slight chance they could stay for a while at this price or go down but i do think these will go up i would if you're interested get these sooner than later and as people realize that as this like this type of vice gets passed on um not that i'm a huge influencer but i do think these will go up i'm thinking i'm even thinking of pulling the trigger on the black pair while they're low certain ones like the off white jordan twos those are super popular at least the, the white pair like those are gonna stay high, continue going high. If you wanna, if you want an off-white piece, if you want an off-white piece, like this, uh, this is really good value. I think uh, you're not you're paying over retail for sure, but I think this is a dope, dope shoe, and uh, and just they're not gonna be anymore. You know, not gonna be any more coming out other than that Air Force One. I don't see extra laces, uh, at least in the box. Got these from StockX. Uh, let's try these on really quick. Let's try these on really quick. Uh, like I said, I really hope um, in this fast media era that we don't forget the work he's done. Um, I was in, I was in, so he passed away end of November. I was in Europe uh, in December and went to the off-white store in paris uh, i think off-white's based in milan though that's their headquarters but i went to the off-white store in paris and got a wallet kind of um, a memento souvenir from that trip also just in in you know remembering him i also bought some rings so i might on, on his like death anniversary might revisit uh with a video of virgil uh talk about him show off those those small objects so I, it was hard i wanted to do it i wanted to do it right you know after he passed as kind of a, a tribute type thing but like uh you know it's just it's just kind of a bummer you know 
a bunch of celebrities have passed recently, and it's just tough when you're really a fan of one. You might ask, like, why are you such a, why are you such a fanboy for Virgil? Uh, I don't get it. Uh, that's that's fair. Uh, that's fair. But uh, so for a little background, he, he's just a little older than me. We come from kind of the same era of interests. He's from the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. He went to the University of Wisconsin for his undergrad. I did too. Um, he ha has a you know an art architecture background that influences his design. I really like art and uh, architecture as well. Um, obviously, his fashion and streetwear. So he just has a lot of the same process, and he doesn't look at just anything through one lens. Plus, he he did a very accessible put uh, literally put out put out how to's free game guides on his website how to become a designer um lots of stuff like that you know i, I he, i'm sure he wasn't a perfect human being um you know uh i'm sure he, whatever he's 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 not he's not mother Teresa. he's not martin luther king so i'm not saying that um but just as if you're wondering like dude why are you why are you such a fanboy? Uh, those are some of the reasons. Um, I think this is this is dope. I chose to wear black sock for this for uh, trying these on so you could see just what it looks like with a black Nike sock. I don't know if this is the sock to wear with this. I I, I think you could wear others. It's cool with the holes. Uh, you definitely can show off your sock game, but I love these. Uh, usually blazers, like I said, I go half size up just to be safe. You could go true to size. I at one point had the off white. All Hallows Eve um, blazers, the cream with the orange check, orange swoosh, and those were dope. Uh, they were a little loose. I laced them loose though too. Uh, unfortunately, I sold those. Uh, I really wish I hadn't, but you know, just constantly buying shoes for myself for the channel. I was just like, you know, I can I can sell a used pair for decent money. I'm gonna do that. I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that. Obviously, I, I sold those before he passed. Um, I wish I still had those. I, I won't be able to get those for the same price that I <laughs> bought them originally. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think about these. Uh, I think these are fire, absolute fire. I'm probably going to look at putting a bid in on the... I got to move some shoes first, but I'm going to look at putting a bid in on the black pair uh, for sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, it's just a bummer. Here, Here's a... So I'm going to unbox something else. If you're still watching, I'm going to box something else very shortly. I uh, just want to show off this quick. I and mean, stick around because I got a hot tip. Hot tip if you stick around and watch for the true Virgil Off-White fans. So I got this. Uh, he guest edited the Sneeze magazine um, just last year, shortly before he, he passed. This came out. So I was stoked to get this. These, these are all sold out. Some of his last written work. Um, came with this uh, dust jacket and a bunch of stickers. Uh, just wanted to show that off quick. Because again, I wanted to do a video after he passed with some like uh, some of the things that I bought that inspired by him, that um, uh, other stuff, and I just didn't feel like getting around to it. Uh, I didn't want to like ride the coattails of his death. I just felt bummed. I don't know. It just wouldn't have been a good video. I just didn't feel like doing it. So now kind of getting around to it. So if you're still here, thanks for watching. Another unboxing right now bonus unboxing uh these are I've got two pairs here two pairs I, I usually try to do separate videos for this stuff right but this pair of off-white nike shoes has been out a while i didn't think it would do well wanted to talk about like since since these have been out for a while uh i would have talked about virgil and, and the stuff that i've been talking about and just not as many people would have watched that video so I wanted it to go on a video where maybe more people would watch. So hence I talked about all that stuff with the in this blazer unboxing video. And um, because I was doing it there, uh, I just combined the videos just because I didn't I didn't think people would watch this unboxing video. It, it, these have been out a while. I already did an unboxing of one of these as you'll see. It's on my channel, link above. Uh, so again. Usually I try to stretch this content out. I'm not being seated shoes, gifted shoes. I don't have a, a, a million dollars to constantly buy shoes and do videos every week. So this really should have been a separate video, but just these have been out so long. Just probably would have got 50 views, 100 views. 
and then I would have been talking about Virgil the whole time and no one would have uh, seen that video. So hoping, hoping my thoughts on Virgil and Off-White got through to more people pairing it with the unboxing of these. Okay, if you're still watching, these are the Air Zoom Tempo Next Off-White collab. I already unboxed these, as I said, another video. Sick. Go watch for my thoughts on that. Thoughts on Virgil there also. These came out well before he passed, so that's the context for that. If you watch that unboxing video, slight crease. I'm going to unbox these and stick around in just a second. I have a hot tip for any, any off-white Virgil fans after we see these and I talk about these for a second. Hot tip. Ooh. So I did not get my hands on these when these dropped. I got those pink ones at Kith and won a raffle. And even though I said I was going to keep them, again, the churn and burn of doing videos, I did end up selling those. And I regretted it instantly, of course, after he passed. Not for monetary purposes. These aren't going for a ton ton. Uh, but just having a piece at retail that I had won, um, I was just, I, I was bummed. Uh, so super happy to get these. Now, where did I get these, you may ask? What was that packaging? What was that box? Got these off the Canary Yellow website. His own personal, it wasn't off-white, quite off-white. It wasn't Louis Vuitton. It was kind of his personal catch-all site, Canary Yellow. So right now, as of the posting of this video, as you're watching this, if you're watching this in the first week of this dropping, shouts to you for watching uh, my channel, my videos, and shouts to you watching this whole time. You can go to Canary Yellow right now. They still have pairs of both of these. They still have pairs of both of these for retail. For retail available in most sizes. They are all sold out of the red and white ones. I wanted those ones, but by the when they advertised they had these pairs up on the website, I went and my size was already sold out. They had some other sizes, but uh, now they're completely sold out uh, of the red and white ones. These, however, you can get at retail. Now you may be like, what does it matter? Um, you can kind of get these for StockX, uh, GOAT, whatever, for retail. Most of those sites are still slightly above, plus you're paying fees and stuff. Here you're only paying tax and shipping. And you're getting it right from the source, right from his company, his website. You can't, you don't have to worry about uh, fakes, etc. coming for retail. Hefty retail on these, 260 bucks. Hefty retail. But again, last chance to get a pair of Virgil, truly Virgil designed shoes at retail. Um, if you've missed out before, wanted these, whatever, here's your chance. Go to the, go to the um, Canary Yellow Gallery website. Tell them Fancy Pants sent you in the comments. Tell them Fancy Pants sent you uh, from his YouTube channel. Link me, link my Instagram. Give me a shout out. I appreciate that. But I was super st hyped and stoked to get these. Spent a lot of money because the retail on these were expensive. But I didn't have these the first time around. As I said, I sold these. And that was a bummer. Uh, I felt bad. And so super happy to have these in the collection for retail. Not getting these off StockX, GOAT, eBay, what have you. Not secondhand. Brand new retail from the source. I love it. Here's the, um, again, I'm not going to go over the details on the pink one. You can check that video out. But here's the black and green ones. I love these. These are a wild shoe. So Coachella's going on right now. I think these are the perfect coach. Like, you're, you're wondering, where do I wear these shoes with spikes on it? Grass. If, the, if you're a soccer player and going to a soccer, mat, soccer game, uh, these are great flats to wear before you put your cleats on. Uh, I think this is the perfect Coachella shoe. Or music festival shoe if it's on grass uh you can be hype uh fashion trendy and then you know these spikes it's fine on grass i think that's that's the that's the perfect spot to wear these uh let's try them on for you guys i'm getting older these are a little wild these are a little wild off-white is forever now uh maybe as an older man i would feel a little weird wearing these sometimes a little hype you know, a little hype beast, but now I have no qualms about wearing these um, true classics. And these, I think I'm going to wear these first while I'm still younger, and then sit on these, stock these for a while. You can wear black shoes at any point in life. 
You can wear any shoes at any point in life, but you get what I mean. Wearing pink shoes if I was 70. I know some people would think it's cool, but you know, you just don't. Anyways, I think these are safer to wear older. I'm going to wear this pink. I'm going to rock those pink ones as soon as I get a chance. And I'm going to sit on these, save these for a bit. Save these for a minute, and these will be my pair. Once I beat up these and these get well worn in and loved, switching over to these. I remember these being a little harder to get on. You gotta, you gotta, they have a quick lace, just a uh, quick lace draw there. You gotta unlace, loosen them up quite a bit. And then they got the small flexible foot entrance here. I'm gonna try not to kick over my camera stand. Let me know in the comments who cops. Again, these are not cheap. Let me know who cops. I would go half size up. Man, these are a little, little tough to get on. Okay. We got them on. Little hot, tough to get on. A little tighter on the top. I would just loosen these a bunch. Loosen the laces a bunch. Wear some thinner socks with these. For sure. But these are real, these are real comfy, <laughs> real bouncy, especially with those, the, the, the squishy spikes at the bottom. Um, I think these are wild. Again, he may not get it, but he wasn't trying to design just a, 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 a GR with a different colorway. That wasn't the goal here. So that wasn't the assignment for him. So that's, uh, that's why these are so wild. I love the hand-drawn swoosh. I think that's interesting. Um, these are tight. Again, room, like room in the toe, plenty of room in the toe. You could almost go true to size. But as far as like tightness on the shoes go, um, it's pretty tight. I'd wear thin socks with these, so that's why I would go half size up. It's not like length. Toe length is fine. If you got a really thin, narrow foot, slender frame foot, you I could see you going true to size but if, you, if you're a big footer like me uh i'd go half size up you'll have plenty of room in the toe but um just getting your foot in this in the sock uh thing uh the fly knit-esque upper you, you're gonna want a bigger size so that's my thoughts on these thank you for watching let me know in the comments if you end up copying either of these pairs uh i, I think it's a good ch last chance to get uh some virgil designed nike collab shoes last ones being those nike air force one mids um i think these are dope let me know what you think of the blazers and the colorways uh and and let me know if you end up going to the website and copying these for retail i i i, I was super stoked super stoked to get these retail from his website uh Virgil was just, you know, he was different, built different. Hope people remember him. Uh, his his website with free games still up on like how to become a designer. I think that's really dope. Uh, you see more of, more of it now. People, James Whitner, Joe Fresh Goods being more open to sharing the process, sharing the other people. But Virgil really like opened that doorway and sh was the one to start showing how it's done, making access for... Um, people who don't have access, uh, unheard voices and stories. He was the pioneer of all that yeah, to a degree. I'm sure there's others, but I'm saying on the, on the main stage, the main social media, big stage, uh, he, he, he found, uh, paved the way for a lot of what you see now. He was the first one to do a lot of that stuff, opening up the process, being accessible. So shouts to him. And I'm glad he started that trend. That's a good trend to start, right? Uh, I don't care as everyone in the world can imitate that um, open door policy, sharing uh, knowledge. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, appreciate it.